the new chairman of the National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission, or NBTC, yesterday rejected any public opinion that military members of the country's first broadcasting and telecom watchdog would dominate its operation. Air Chief Marshal Taret Unsi said all 11 commissioners had to work seamlessly to make the NBTC function well. Of the 11, the five are military brass and one is a top police official. The commissioners convened yesterday to choose a chairman, Tared, and then cast secret ballots to select two vice chairmen. They are Colonel Nati Sakonrat, who is expected to oversee the broadcasting committee, and Colonel Seth Tapong Malisawan for the telecom committee. The commissioners had planned to name all three posts, the chairman and vice chairman, unanimously to show that they could reach a consensus. The decision has been put on hold, specifically the vice chairman post. NBTC will replace the National Telecommunication Commission in liberalizing the industries and issue new spectrum licenses. An NBTC source said Taled would focus solely on managing the planned fund for developing the telecom and broadcasting industries for the public benefit. Taled will share the panel managing the fund, comprising members of state agencies and related experts. The fund will be financed by government seed money and license fees. The NBTC will have to finish the telecom and broadcasting master plans and the spectrum table first before it can grant the new spectrum licenses. The Senate Secretariat is expected to send the commissioner's names to Prime Minister Yingluck Chinawat next Monday. The Council of State will convene today to determine how Yingluck should proceed with that list of names. The Department of Special Investigation has agreed to probe as a special case the complaints alleging the process of selecting NBTC candidates was unlawful. Thus, Yingluck was hesitant to submit the commissioner's names for royal endorsement and consulted the Council of State on the matter. Now we go to Kun Napakun Lim Saman Pan, who is now on the VTRON presentation on NBTC's impact on the Thai telecom and broadcasting stocks that is now on a bullish trend. Kun Napakun. Now, the National Broadcasting and Telecom Commission of Thailand has its first chairman, who is General Thared Pun Si, Kun Thared, and 10 other commissioners will have a big challenge in reforming Thailand's broadcasting and telecom sectors. One of the first priorities for the NBTC is to issue 3G or third generation telecom licenses. Last year, the administrative court suspended the auction of this 3G or third generation licenses because it said the NTC or the National Telecom Commission did not have the mandate. According to the court, the NBTC got such a mandate. So now we already have the NBTC uh, chosen by the Senate. We can expect the NBTC to go ahead with the issue of 3G licenses possible in the middle of the next year. So what will be the implications on major telecom and broadcaster stocks in Thailand? We will start with AIS and DTRAC. AIS is currently the biggest telecom provider in Thailand, followed by DTAC. Both of them are seen to be uh, attractive for uh, for investors when compared to two corporations which has the third largest market share. Now, have a look. The AIS or Advanced Info target price is now 140 baht per share. But today's AIS is already traded at 122 baht. So the market already priced in the benefits uh, from NBTC into AAS stock price. For DTAC, the target price 
is 75 baht per share, and now it's currently traded at 72 baht. Again, the market already priced in the benefit from NBTC. As for true corporation, the target price is uh, 2.7 baht. But today, market price is still much higher because the analyst said true has uh, more downside risk than AIS and DTAC. For broadcasting stock, there will be a conversion of content to a border network as a result of the setup of the NBTC. As the NBTC move ahead to reform the Thai telecom and the broadcasting industry, we can expect the advertising expenditure in the country to go to even more rapidly in the year 2012. See, this year, we expect to the total advertising expenditure growth to be a total of 110 billion baht, and about half of it, in this color, the blue, is coming from television expenditure. So the benefits will likely be on the BEC and MCOT. See, BEC is the operator of TV channel 3, and MCOT is the operator of TV channel 9. When we have the NBTC, both BEC and MCOT, we have a new framework that they can invest in the conversions of content uh, between telecom and the broadcasting as well as the internet. So the market said that BEC, the operator of Channel 3, will likely outperform the market, and the target price is 52 baht per share. As for MCOT, the operator of TV Channel 9, the position is neutral, and the target price is around 33 baht. The market believes uh, that BEC is in a better position to capitalize on the conversions of the telecom, broadcasting, and the internet. Uh, as for the MCOT, it also has ambitious plan, but MCOT, which is partly owned by the government, has more uh, risk about regulatory changes. So overall, the setup, the operation of the National Broadcasting and Telecom Commission, or NBTC, which is a long-awaited move. We've been waiting for 14 years to have the uh, proper regulatory bodies. Overall, the impact of NBTC on telecom and broadcasting stocks is positive.